Things all changed for Whitley Bay in 1882 when the railway station opened. A lot of people would just come down to the coast. Anyway, the seaside town had to have its entertainments and one of the people who saw this was Charles Elderton from Heaven Theatre Royal. He was the manager of the Theatre Royal in Heaven, which is actually south of the River Tyne. Uh, he started up some shows in what was Whitley Park. He'd build a stage and he'd come over with his Toreador troupe and he'd also build awnings to protect the crowds from the weather and these awnings were decorated to look like a Spanish village. So you got the Toreadors and you got a Spanish village. Elderton bought the land next to Whitley Park to build a pleasure garden. He put on more shows and in 1909 plans were passed to build the Spanish city dome. The dome itself was constructed out of uh, henna beak concrete, which is an early form of reinforced concrete. Um, it's said from the archives that we've found that it was second only in size to St Paul's when it was first constructed. It's been fantastic to see it refurbished back to its original splendour. The fun fair itself, when it was open, uh, was a massive attraction. We had people from all over, not just the northeast, but all over the country used to come to Whitley Bay to ride the fun fair. The plaza area that I'm sitting in now is very much an acknowledgement of the heritage of Spanish City, the fun fair, with the seats named after the rides. The regeneration projects that we have are based on our heritage, but actually something that people can enjoy now and in the future. Restaurants, tea rooms, bars that people can come and enjoy today. 